and I'm giving presentation on data scrapping and its illegal use. So uh, what is data scrapping? It is the process of extracting valuable data for a, a website or by which a software or an application or a computer uh, application to sell marketing intelligence to third parties. By using this technique, attackers could import large quantities of data within a fraction of time as compared to copy. Now, what is the type of data scrapping? There are three types of data scrapping. One is content scrapping, price scrapping, and context scrapping. So content scrapping is extracting of the content from the website and post it on their own website as the original content. Price scrapping is uh, basically the price data from its competitor and uh, website and can benefit and can take benefit from it. And context scrapping is extraction of personal information of the people such as email addresses and phone numbers. So what are the illegal uses of data scrapping? It requires publicly available information but also in, uh, extract confidential information. These information leakages can significantly harm the growth and the business of the company. Data scrapping has its limitation, importing, protecting content, may cause copyright infringement. It can be legal or illegal both, but uh, we are looking at the illegal. So what is copyright infringement? Any data that is publicly, publicly uh, available and is not copyrighted can be scrapped easily. So data scrapping leads to uh, legal challenges for both the content creator and the com content importer. It involves copying of data from a source and hence the copyright laws came into picture. Section 2O of Copyright Act 1957 provides that a literary work includes compilation and since the data scrapped is a compilation, it comes under the category of literary work. As per Section 13 -1, Subsection A of the Copyright Act 1957, a copyright vests into an original literary work due to this fact, the question arises whether the content importer is a copyright holder or not. Therefore, on the behalf of content owner, the compilation has been extracted from their website which holds copyright over their content. Remedies for the importer. So, in order to establish copyright in such compilation, the content importer needs to prove that there has been some minimal degree of creativity involved in such compilation. Uh, and here the doctrine of fair dealing act uh, permits it permits to reproduce and to use the copyright work but within a stipulated manner without uh, his consent section 52 uh, of copyright act deals with this doctrine and the said work is being used for non commercial purpose or uh, covers under the um, this and the information technology act now 2000 so the act recognized the potential threats of identified theft and incorporated provisions that the process of data scrapping can pose and has incorporated provisions that provide for limitations and sections for any illegal use of it uh, section 43 of the IT Act encounters and unlawful data scrapping. Uh, the unlawful punishable acts come under these sections are unlawful access or to a computer, computer system, computer network, or extracting data from it, facilitating a de denial of services, incorporating a computer virus or any other form of computer content contaminate for the purpose of destroying, transmitting or modifying data and causing any untoward disruption in the normal working of such computer, computer system, computer penalties uh, regarding to the uh, this uh, act uh, that, is, that is under section 66 however does not act covered within the scope of 43 may be imprisoned extend up to 3 years or fine which may be extend up to 5 lakhs. So what is the conclusion? Conclusion is data scrapping are often not illegal by themselves, but misuse of these methods can be against the law. It can also be lawful 
unlawful to unblock uh, to block scrapping completely the advancements in cyber scrapping has led to be employed for illegal purpose distributing illicit copies of books movies etc how everything is uh, done online how the details everything done online tracing fraudsters become extremely difficult uh, apart from stealing data in the context of copyright infringement cyber criminals may also targets other forms of people thank you